Hey guys, Marcus here. You may be wondering why I'm sitting here on the tailgate with an air fryer and a hair dryer, but that's because I just got back from our coast to coast to coast uh, road trip in the Cybertruck here today. And I found at the door was our Cybertruck PowerShare uh, mobile connector adapter. Now this lets you plug into the mobile connector and uh, have two 120 volt outlets by plugging into your charge port instead of using the bed outlets. Of note, you have to be on the newest software version, 2025.20.6 for this to work. If you're on 2025.20.3, you may have seen uh, about a week ago when these started shipping that it wasn't working. So make sure you are updated to the newest uh, software version for it to work. Now let's uh, plug this thing in and see how it works. All right, so let's get this installed. This goes into the mobile connector just like any other adapter would, like that. And then now you're gonna grab the charge handle and plug it into the truck. All right, so you're gonna have to tap the charge door because the button doesn't work because it's not powered. And you just plug that in and you'll see it goes blue and then you get the purple, which means that you're utilizing PowerShare. Now with the mobile connector plugged in, you can see we are getting the PowerShare menu, the purple indicating that, showing discharging zero kilowatts right now. Uh, that's four days worth of uh, electricity at zero kilowatts with a power share limit of 20%. You'll also get this menu to pop up here. And then if you step out of the vehicle and close the door, you get this menu uh, when it's, you know, there but not locked. So that's kind of nice to see there. So let's get the hair dryer plugged in here. I'm also going to get the air fryer going. Now, we'll turn this on. Nice and hot at full heat. And you can see in the app that it's drawing 1.2 kilowatt hours. We can also see on the truck screen here. Approximately two days discharging 1.1, 1.2 kilowatt hours. Now let's say you're camping and you wanna make dinner while you're getting your hair dried, so you turn the air fryer on, and boom, we have the air fryer going and the hair dryer going at the same time. Now you can see in the app there, it's discharging basically at full for both of those 120 volt outlets. And if you go to the truck screen here, we're now discharging 2.6 kilowatts, approximately one day of energy. Now I was also curious because in the app, when it shows you know, you're discharging power, it shows you can discharge up to 11 kilowatt hours. So I wanted to see what would happen if I plug this in. But unfortunately, what you'll see is that this is not powered at all while the uh, PowerShare you know, adapter is in use. Basically, the manual says that anytime you plug anything into the charge port, even if you're not actively charging, that the power outlets will turn off. And unfortunately, there's no way to change that so that we can utilize it. Now, I was also curious, this is a Cybertruck mobile connector. I believe they put these with the Juniper Model Y now with the black face on this one. Um, this is the one that came with our previous, uh, I wanna say 2019 or 2018 Model 3 um, mobile connector. So I wanted to see what would happen if we plug this in to the old connector to see if it would work. I have a feeling it's not gonna work, but let's try it. So now that we have the adapter attached to the older mobile connector, let's see how that works. And when you plug it in, you'll see that there is no status light. You don't get the blue like it's starting to charge and then it doesn't go to purple, meaning PowerShare is not active and that's not gonna work at all with the older mobile connector. Now sitting in the back of the Cybertruck, I've plugged the hairdryer into the 120 volt outlet in the back here. 
I turn the outlets on and you can see from the screen that PowerShare is not active. I don't have that plugged in and hair dryer works. So let's plug the PowerShare adapter in and see if the cabin outlets still work. So you can see we have PowerShare active and let's try and turn the hair dryer on. Nothing. So when you plug the PowerShare adapter in and it's active, all the cabin outlets are off, unfortunately, including the bed outlets too. So this really, this adapter is only going to be good for people that have a long range Cybertruck, not an all wheel drive or a beast because they have the bed outlets and the cabin outlets too. So that's the PowerShare uh, mobile connector adapter for you. Basically, this is only going to be useful if you are a long range Cybertruck owner, not a all wheel drive or beast owner, because when you're using this, you only have access to these two 120 volt outlets. When you don't use it, you would have access to 220 volts here, 220 volts in the cabin and the 240 at the same time. So you're effectively limited to what 2.4 or 2.6 kilowatts uh, with this adapter versus having up to 11 kilowatts with the truck normally there. So hope you found this useful. If you need this, uh, you can get it on Tesla's website or if anybody wants it, let me know and I'll probably sell it to you because I don't know that I'm really ever going to use this unless something happens where maybe a Model Y, a Juniper that they're sending these with can use it. So if you have one of the new Model Ys, somebody should try plugging this in if you have 2025.20.6 and see if that works and let me know down in the comments. Cool. Have a good one.